Hey there, it's Greg T. Hey there, this is Greg T. Hey there, this is Greg T. With uh, the Image Stop and Think Beyond the Brand, and this is your branding moment. All right. So uh, as you can see, doing things just a little bit differently here. I know in one of the earlier branding moments, I said about uh, staying consistent, keeping things professional. You know, and I talked about the green shirt and so on and so forth. And I do stand by that. <clears throat> but once you've established what it is you're doing, sometimes it's really good to. Uh, shake things up a bit and have people kind of uh, take a second look. It gets their attention that much longer. It's good. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> that's not the reason for this branding moment. We'll talk about that one another time. Um, you know, this branding moment is uh, all about uh, propaganda. Okay, uh, propaganda. Now, in some circles, I will use that in a term because, uh, you know, let's face it, in marketing, our job is to um, get people to uh, think and react and do things the way that we want them to do things, okay? That's what the branding moment's kind of all about, is establishing a base for what people and how people perceive who you are. Therefore, their expe expectations of what of who you are and what your company does are maintained even in their own head, okay? Um, that's just a really important thing. So uh, we just wanna talk about the uh, about the uh, the propaganda or the, the, you know, even extends into the fake news uh, that you hear about, <clears throat> okay? Or that uh, certain uh, politicians will speak about now and then. Here's the thing, okay? Um, what I want to talk about when it comes to the propaganda of what the branding moment is all about is keeping things real, keeping things positive, okay? <clears throat> now, let's face it. We all deal with um, situations and things that we don't enjoy in our business. We don't enjoy in our lives, you know? Um, this is quite normal, okay? And if you're experiencing a, a forever high and everything's all wonderful all the time, <laughs> I got to question the reality of that, okay? Um, <clears throat> but angling things, talking to uh, and, and about how things are um, uh, positive or, or, or finding that positive spin on things, the propaganda, okay? That's what I'm talking about today. Um, <clears throat> let's go with this, okay? So there may be some systems and things in, uh, in um, things that you're connected to that uh, you don't like, you don't, you, you don't uh, appreciate, you don't think that's correct. You know, fine. You've got two, three choices. Hey, look at that. We got a comment on our on Facebook. Okay, no, we got three choices in that. Okay, first choice being, do you, uh, uh, do you, is there anything you can do about it? Okay, first of all, um, so your first choice is uh, you got to think about that and say, okay, if not, let go of it. Don't worry about it. You know, just deal with it. Deal within the confines of what you have there. Um, sometimes it means a little extra work. Sometimes it means some, uh, maybe some difficult decisions or, or uh, means uh, having to do some stuff and, uh, you know, pick up your socks a little bit. But, you know, so be it. It's not going to be the end of the world for you. Uh, second thing you got to do is, you know what? Get more involved. Jump in higher. Uh, do uh, do more on the on the level of what you can uh, make a change. Okay, for for whatever it is that you're involved in, um, <clears throat> whether that be uh, an organization, whether it be your own company, uh, make changes. Get involved to the extent of where you have the ability to in encourage or influence changes. Uh, get into that. Uh, secondly, uh, you have the choice to uh, complain about it. Okay, it's a it's a choice. Uh, do I recommend that choice? Hell no. Absolutely not. Um, let's face it, okay? We're, we're, there's things that we're not going to like in life. There's things that we're not going to like in business. Things that we're not like when things that we're, we're connected to. But I want to, and, and this isn't being, uh, this, this isn't a, a, a branding moment to complain about people. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, I deal with this kind of stuff, uh, you know, weekly, daily sometimes. And um, it's all right. It's all part of it. You know, I'm not here to complain and, and do that here. That's not, my, that's not the forum I'm using. But I want to talk to it. And that is, uh, okay, so when there's some, th some things you don't like and maybe out of, the, out of your control and it's something like that, uh, you know what? You can also walk away. I suppose there's a fourth. And uh, just say, I'm not dealing with this anymore and I'm done. That can go for your business as well. Some people decide that uh, business is just not for them. Not encouraging that, okay? That is not where I'm going on that. Um, <clears throat> Realistically, okay, back to the propaganda. Let's talk about uh, putting that positive spin on things, watching your language, okay? Language and how you say things and how uh, you uh, speak into the world around you affects, it, it affects how things work for you, okay? They can be good, they can be bad. Um, it's just my phone ringing to remind me I have an appointment on Friday. <laughs> Recording this on a Wednesday, in case you're wondering. Okay, um, <clears throat> Note to self, turn off cell phone before doing branding moments. Okay. <laughs> okay, seriously, back to 
Let's talk to language and how you speak to things, okay? Um, saying things like, uh, um, you know, well, this really sucks, and I don't like this, and this is unfair, and, and um, I'm frustrated by this, you know. What that does is that just feeds more um, uh, negative negativity into your uh, into your life, into your business, into uh, what you're what it is you're doing. Okay, um, you're frustrated. You're gonna just you're, you're feeding more frustration, and uh, you don't like this. You're di- you're gonna be feeding in more things that you don't like. You're gonna notice more things you don't like. If we are spending our time talking positively about things, okay. Well, you know what? This situation happened. It wasn't for me, but this is what I'm doing to work with it. Okay. Um, I had a situation A that uh, I, I wasn't thrilled with, but you know what? I accepted it and I just kind of went forward and it really hasn't been that big a deal. Um, I had a situation D, didn't like it, I said, you know what? I'm not going to work with that anymore and I'm going to change my focus. Nothing wrong with that. See, so what it ends up doing is by making sure that you're keeping a positive outlook and seeing how you can, uh, uh, I guess, handle situations and the things within your life and your language, your verbiage, the propaganda, okay? You're handling it in such a way that it is, uh, uh, I guess, it's it's purveying a positive approach to things. Uh, you know what? The, the better your life's going to be and the better the people around you going to be and the more you're going to attract of the like, okay? Um, we don't want to attract uh, the negativity in our lives. It's, it's pretty simple. So when we focus on the negative, we attract the negative. If we uh, s- spend our time complaining about things, we're going to attract things that we're going to, 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 things to complain about for several reasons. One of the main ones being because that's what we're noticing and that's what we put to the forefront. So, um, you know, I could uh, belabor this one and just keep going over details and upon details and get into all this information. But the fo- bottom line comes into, you know what, guys? We need to, uh, we need to really affect things well in our world, okay? This world isn't always the best place. There is often things that we don't like, things we don't agree with, things that uh, we may uh, agree with partially and other things we don't. And then people, uh, you know, pigeonhole us into one solid group of, oh, we don't like that because you believe and think this way. It's not necessarily the way it is. So uh, my thoughts to you, another Facebook uh, comment. (laughs) My thoughts to you are pretty simple on this one. Uh, You know what? Spend some time looking at how you say things how you deal things with things in your business, how you deal, deal with things and how you purvey the attitude that you're trying to uh, um, uh, communicate to people. Uh, this branding moment has been done, as I say, outside the green, doing just a little bit differently. A, to shake things up. B, to let you know that, you know what? This isn't just business speak. This isn't just uh, some guy coming to you and saying, well, here's the right things to do and you should do that. You know what? Yeah, sure, they may be the right things to do. The bottom line is I'm a person too. And uh, when we talk about these things, these are, are things that can help everybody around us and we can deal with better period and uh, make the world a better place around us so uh that's great t with uh the image stop and think beyond the brand and very very seriously here is to your success thank you